Sewell, the offensive line. Here comes a handoff straight up the middle. Should be Mitch Voss on the carry. Picks up maybe a yard, not much on that one. Third down and about five, maybe four now to go for the Black Raiders in the red zone. Voss on the carry, but give credit to Jeremy Nelson. Kickle Jordan Menard, who was close on the tackle before that. Jordan Menard was right up there in tackles last year for the Black Raiders. He might not be very big. Quarterback, eye formation at first and goal. Handed off up the middle to Mitch Voss. He's looking for room, not going to find much. Got to the six-yard line, no further. Second down and goal. Good job of the defensive line this time for the Healing Crusaders. Coming in, making the stop up front here. I got to uh, read the number. Number 44 was in there. Corey Cruz, along with number 64. Puts down those shoulders and he's able to bull forward, knocks over the de defense as they try and bring him down, picks up an extra yard. It's tie, 47 yard line. Great job of the offensive line of the Healing Crusaders. A huge hole for Paul Jacobs. Surge by that defense for the uh, Healing Crusaders. Next time lost, it's gonna be second down, we'll call it 17, 25-20. It is the East High Black Raiders on top on the Zocunde scoreboard, 450 remaining. You talk about a bad luck running back tonight. That's been Ryan Donahue. He gets two uh, carries in the first half. He gets stuffed. He gets a huge break, a touchdown, and he gets brought back on a holding play. Right, he's going to take it again. He gets some more yardage back right around to the Crusader 36-yard line, but it's going to bring up third down and 12 now for the East High Black Raiders. Life with a he got slid underneath them, too. Here comes some big time Here's hits. A big Did he time get him? Block. Oh, oh my. Oh, that is a nice looking block. Oh, Hunter Jeremy. Stone. No, isn't that Jeremy what? Nelson? 64. Oh. Behind Paul Jacobson. And the Crusaders have it first and goal. Hand off up the middle into the end zone. No problem. And the Crusaders strike first. Michael Malloy gets the touchdown. And the Healing Crusaders are up 6 0 on the Zook Hyundai scoreboard. Well, that's what good field position will do for you. <laughs> Felter hands it off, going to the big fullback again, trying to fight his way, got shoved straight back that time. Lieber again, and that time Heelan was ready for it, I think. Yeah, they Solari this time. They definitely were ready for that one as they saw the counter play going there and they gave it up to the fullback coming up the middle, and the defense did a nice job of reading that play. Yeah, nice play trying to run the ball. Third down and one. <laughs> One love bringing peace to Long Barrier.
quarter still in the shotgun is McCabe in motion gets the handoff inside can't break through the offensive line and, and Kumo just hasn't found space early on on this first possession well it's a good job of the defense this time they don't fall for the uh, the pass for the fakes they stay at home and do a good job Nick Wonkum right there to make the tackle and they'll get this drive going on their own 35 yard line McKay back in the shotgun gets the handoff trying to break along the right side is met by a host of Crusaders and doesn't get much more than the original line of scrimmage. Well, in fact, they're going to mark him for about a yard loss on the play. A great job of the defense stringing out the play. Michael Malloy there on the tackle, along with Wonkum and a host of uh, blue jerseys doing a great job of stringing that play out and then gang tackling, just flowing to the football. Down about the 41 yard line, very close to the first down marker. Well, that's going to move the chains because there's a big time face. 0-0. Zero, zero. West and down marker. There's a flag on the play. <laughs> There's a flag. Go ahead and stay in the ball game. Has four touchdowns, two interceptions on the year, thrown for 531 yards, four wide receiver set. He'll fake the, oh, he gives the handoff down the middle, tries the left-hand side, wrapped up by the Crusaders, and Kumo just has found no room. They've tried to get him in motion, tried to build a head of steam, but the Crusaders' front line is just too quick. Yeah, Healing doing a good job. Jeremy Nelson fighting off the block. Wrapping him up, bringing him down, and a good job fighting off the blocks. Ten yard line, excuse me, but another blocked punt for the Crusaders. That is a great job by Michael Malloy as this ball gets punted out of there, and it's going to be blocked by Jeremy Nelson as Nelson gets through the line of scrimmage, gets a shoulder on it, and that ball is blocked. It hits the 31-yard line. First play goes for 11 big yards for the Tornadoes. Seaman turns, hands the ball off, and Kumo's met by a host of Healing defenders. They hate giving up the big play, and they'll get him down the backfield. Now that time, they weren't going to allow him to pick up big yardage on the play as he's met, and he's met hard that time by about four blue jerseys. And leading the way is Jacob Tasted as he stands the big boy, Kulo, straight up and then drives him backwards for a loss. Defense, they take pride in not allowing big plays. And I tell you, they gave up a big play. They weren't going to allow it again. That time, Nick Wonkum right there. It's a really good job of healing right there, just paying attention. Yeah, excellent job. And uh, outside defender there, Tasted, kept his outside shoulder free and kind of turned that play back inside to force a fourth down there. Plenty of time for the Crusaders. Van Dusen, the fullback, Malloy, the tailback. They fake to Malloy. They go to Hickman. Hickman. He's got the midfield line is the official oh, line of scrimmage. It'll be a gain of 24. And the Crusaders right at it with Malloy. Breaks a tackle. Touchdown, Heelan. Three yards out. And the Crusaders strike first. Off tackle with Michael Malloy. Excellent job up front again. On this game is on our sister station. Y101.3. Great tackle by Tasted. Keneally's going to get dropped for a loss. Let's give him a and he scores. No, another great call. It's the same quarterback draw. that Two-point conversion attempt coming for the Crusaders. Jacobson hands to Malloy. Malloy cuts it back. It's good. Yeah, really good job. That's that power eye formation that they came out with last week against Carroll and had success running that same. Reed, the quarterback. Looks to pass, winds up and throws. That's intercepted by Jacobson. 40, 35. You get Little Caesars pizza. Call now, 239-2101. Seth will set you up with a pizza from Little Caesars Pizza Pizza on our pizza after touchdown. Head off to Keneally. He's stacked up. He's going to be dropped for a loss. 
great penetration by the Heenla defense right up the middle. Marty Cruz was leading the way. Yeah, Cruz having a great game tonight, and uh, that right whole defensive line four, spent a lot of time in the offensive backfield this evening. Formation of Eric Dott and I. Eric's going to try the left side, and he's going to pull the closures real quickly. He's getting back formation for Osborne. And Barrett is going to try the left side. He gets through the initial first wave. He's going to get the two. Mm -hmm. And then goes to an offset slot, bell slot formation. We're going to bring the boy all the way across formation. And he is wrapped up and brought down. Good shoot, tap the gun. And he's going to go and maybe come to swing that and out to the right. And he's going to cross formation. And he's going to go sweep play. And he's able to pop through it. He's been able to get a first down in about five minutes. To be able to focus and stay with the play. Jacobson underneath center now. Takes a snap, gives it to Malloy in the backfield. Malloy with some running room this time, and he's able to get down to the depth, seven to nothing. Hoffman in the shotgun, takes a snap, gives it off to his tailback, and fighting for a couple, three yards is Brandon Domeyer. So they're a threat to go out, and that's one of the disadvantages of playing man-to-man -man is your secondary has their back turned to the quarterback. Michael Malloy with the carry. And a, a big play, a big gain for uh, Sioux City Heelan. Here's a handoff now to uh, Domeyer. Down 21-7 here with 11.47 to go in the second. Inside handoff this time, and Bishop Heelan right leading West Delaware. Here's the handoff again to Domeyer. Domeyer to the right side this time. First and goal now. Hoffman still in the shotgun. Here's the handoff in the backfield and dropped for a two-yard loss on the play. But the only bad part about the passing, that last drive only lasted one minute. Yeah, exactly on that. Again. Sam Lahr gives it off to Domeyer. Domeyer tries to run it up the middle and using his power and speed. Here's Hoffman, takes the snap, gives it off to Domeyer. Met at the line of scrimmage and tackled there. It's down in 10, receivers to the right. There's three of them up the middle. Oh, and a fumble on the play. Who's on top of this one, Kent? There's a big scrum down there. I see one of the Helan players pointing Helan ball. The officials haven't made a decision yet. They're trying to pull everybody off the pile. Nine. Two wide receivers to the top of your screen. Paul Jacobson under center. And the handoff, and they've got the football. Jebica again. Full head of steam coming around this end. Nice job fending off the block from his linebacker position. Sensational defense there by the Crusaders. Boy, if you wasn't looking, you got a good shot at him. Hannes back to pass. Nice. Fires, and it's caught. Remaining, we're down to 30 seconds. Hurry up, fellas. Second down and 12 at the 28. Honest shotgun, going to keep it. Picks up one, maybe two, but then he is going to be hit. Zach Maxian on the stop for the Crusaders, along with Jeremy Nelson. Ground game for Solon. They'll continue to turn. 